behind this hood is my brand new haircut after cutting my hair. Not cutting my hair, rather, for a grand total of one year and probably about four months. I had, it had been about three months since I got a haircut, when quarantine started, and then it was then I decided I did not want to cut my hair for the entire quarantine. And it got very long, as I'm sure you guys all saw. We got a lot of traction during my time growing my massive, massive hair on this channel, and I'm happy to everyone that has stuck with me this far. However, I don't usually wear my hair that long, uh, but as you're about to see, I also don't wear my hair this short. And this is the result of many, many disastrous attempts at a haircut by both my mother and my brother. It was a long evening for a lot of us, but then as it got shorter and shorter, we decided that this was the funnier approach. And honestly, it's not that bad. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me unveil. You guys think you're ready for it. You're not ready for it. No one is prepared. Weird, huh? Don't I look like 12 years younger? Can we put a picture of me from like yesterday here? This is me yesterday. Now look at me, I look like 5 years younger when in fact I'm, mathematically speaking, one day older. It's crazy. So yes, I shaved my head. Everyone gasp in awe. <sighs> I don't really care. <laughs> it got really bad. I originally just wanted it to be long. At about the length it was when it was June of this year. I think that was a very good length. Uh, just long enough to be interesting and good looking and just short enough to not be disastrous like it was after that. <sighs> As you can see, it did not turn out that way. And honestly, this is way cooler. So it makes for a way better before and after picture. And that's all I can hope for. <laughs> And I also wanted to take this time to do an update video because it has been a long time since I've had an excuse to do an update video. And this is going to be very brief, so since I just want this to be a small little video. Um, big bullet points, Ocarina of Time video essay is very, very close. I'm done with the script. It is finished right now. And all I have to do is voice and record, get the footage, and obviously edit it. And score the last two chapters, the mountain and the river. After that, video essay is done. It is ready to be released, and you guys are going to love it. It's going to be about an hour long, I'm pretty sure, maybe like 45 minutes. And it'll be the first part of Ocarina of Time, the child section. So the first three dungeons of the game, a bunch of preamble as well. It's going to be great. I'm very, very happy with it. There's a lot of twists and turns through doing it, and I'm very happy with the final cut thus far. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure that it will be good when it comes out, you know. And I'm doing the footage. I'm going to be record playing on Creative Time on stream sometime this week, maybe tomorrow. Not sure. I'm just going to play through the whole child section of the game. Uh, you guys can be there and uh, join me playing on Creative Time. It's my favorite game of all time, so uh, you will see that in the video essay. And that's pretty much all I have. Um, I'm doing school again. I'm doing attendance for credit. Almost all of my time is being sucked up into that. But I'm graduating in June of this year, June 12th, so yay for me. I'm going to be out of school and then going into community college. So, uh, yep, thanks for watching. Thank you for gawking at my hair. Yeah, I I know. Everyone at Mon I'm on Monday at school is just going to stare at me. That's kind of the whole point. So, yeah. Bye, guys.